Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Coach Agus, and this is the introduction to my health class here at Johnson High School. Um, who am I? I graduated from Harlandale High School here in San Antonio, Texas, and I graduated with a degree in sport, business sports management from Florida International University in uh, Miami, Florida. I was um, lucky enough to play professional baseball for two and a half years with the Colorado Rockies organization before pursuing a career in teaching. Um, like I said, I teach PE and health. Um, our health expectations are to be on time, be ready to learn, and be prepared with materials. Um, so far, everybody's been doing a great job at that. We, um, we do take um, quite a few notes, and we have, we do take qu quite a few notes, and we are able to um, learn from the PowerPoints that we're doing, and they've been doing a great job filling out the worksheets and answering questions, any questions that I ask. Um, the great thing about this is that with health class, we're, we're teaching them how to live a healthier lifestyle, and I love that. I love that we're giving them information that they're gonna be able to use later down the road whenever, whenever they get older, and hopefully they can continue to live a healthy lifestyle, whether it's being active or just eating healthy in general. And I think that's very important uh, moving forward. Um, grading policy, um, daily work, Zoom and participation is 25%. Writing assignments, we will we have done some writing, some worksheets, and that's 35%. And then tests and projects, such as um, what we're going to be doing is the AED um, defibrillator, learning how to revive um, revive someone who will need who needs it. That's going to be a big grade, a big interesting project that I'm looking forward to teaching the the, the students. And we're also doing CPR. We're certifying the students in CPR, which I think is awesome for them to be certified in. That can help them save someone's life at any time. And you know, that's a very serious, serious topic we're gonna cover. And we're gonna take our time with it. Thinks about a two week um, time period for that so that we can make sure the students go over it and prepare, are prepared for it. And we're gonna give them all the, the lesson planning they need um, to make sure they, they are able to understand it and get it right. And then they're gonna show videos and send us a project of them doing it themselves on a stuffed animal or um, a dummy if we can get to one and we're back on, on campus, hopefully. Um, communication, um, they have my Google Classroom. It is on there, they can email me through there or you can email me personally at magus at neisd.net um, and feel free to email me anytime with any questions, comments or concerns that you may have for health class. Um, my email is always on my laptop and um, my phone as well. I'll feel it vibrate and you know, I'll, I'll be able to respond to you right away. On um, the Google Classroom, they all have the login information. They have the class code. Um, if they need it, they can always email me for it, but um, unless I get a new student, they, they probably shouldn't need it or, or they won't need it. Um, these are just some of the topics that we have in the Google Classroom that are pretty easy for, that they've been doing a great job and are easy to locate in the Google Classroom once we log in. We have the attendance slash exit slips, class material, class assignments, class Zoom recordings for asynchronous. So if they miss, they can always go back and see what I posted or what we went over that day and, and uh, to go back into it. They have PowerPoints if they need to go back for something. Resources um, such as a class syllabus, any um, contact information are on there. And then the class Zoom link is on there. So if they ever get logged out of the classroom or forget it, they can always go back to Google Classroom click on the Zoom link and it'll take them right to it right away. Um, attendance, this is very important that I emphasize to the students, for especially for asynchronous. Um, they must fill out an attendance slash exit ticket for me in the Google Classroom before 11.59 p.m. the day of the class. This will ensure that they were present that day. So whatever um, for this, for health for us is Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if they can please fill it out before 11.59 p.m. that day, that lets me know they logged in and um, went into the Google Classroom, saw the Zoom video that I recorded for the for the class that day, and did any assignments um, that are turned in. It gives me the time, date, and who logged in on the attendance form. So it's it's very helpful. And um, during it during during class, we do take attendance as well. We have them sign in the sheet, and then before they leave, I'll either have an exit assignment or an exit, or they'll fill out the exit ticket again to let me know that they did stay all class period with um for Zoom. Um, this is my schedule for to the Tuesday, Thursday health class periods. I do not have a conference that day. I do have a lunch, but not a conference. Um, fifth period is health from 10 a.m. to 11.30. 
six period is these are all health classes from 12 to 20 a.m. to 1.50 p.m. and then or sorry 12.20 p.m. that should be p.m. and then um, seventh period 1.55 p.m. to 3.25 p.m. and that's the end of the day. Um, if your child does need tutoring um, then feel free to have them contact me we can set up a tutoring day um, via Zoom or if they're on campus we can meet up in campus um, 9 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. and then 3.30 to 4.30 after school. So, like I said, feel free to have them reach out to me if they're having any trouble or need to go over anything for health. Um, I'm more than welcome to help them. And that's it. Um, feel free for, to ask me any questions um, via email, any um, comments or concerns that you have. And um, have a good day. I look forward to meeting y'all um, whenever we can get back on campus. Go Jaguars.